Right at the end of that road, shaitan managed to trap a believer. It can happen. And a believer falls. The first thing is it, the sin is committed in private in secret. That's a sign of a believer. The minute you openly commit sin and you're proud of it, you're defying Allah, you're playing a game with some thing that you're not supposed to be playing with. You're actually challenging your creator. You made this haram. I'm going to show you. I'll drink or I'll do this and I'll publicly tell people what's the big deal. You're playing a game when Allah's punishment comes. We ask Allah to save us. So a true believer, even if they fall, they fall privately. And as soon as a sin is committed, they are embarrassed. They regret. That's a sign of a believer. When your good deed makes you happy, you get up for tahajjud one day and you feel so good about it. That's a sign that you're a true believer. That's why you're feeling good. Other people get up the same time in the morning. They did not feel as good as you about getting up so early. You felt good because why? You're a believer. I got up today. It's early. Nice. I read some. I made dua. I cried to my maker. What's that? It's a sign that you're a, you're a good man. You're a good woman. You you're you're a believer. You believe in Allah by the will of Allah. And when you commit a sin and you regret it, it's also a sign you're a believer. You know I'm answerable to Allah. That's what it is. I'm answerable. Allah can punish me. Ali ma abdi anna lahu rabban yaqudu bi dhambi wa yafiruhu. My worshipper now has recognized that he has a Lord in charge. He can either punish him or forgive him. There goes. May Allah Almighty grant us.